Hi, Aries, if you want to come on in, have a seat for some symbolic support. We're going to be pulling from the scrolls for you at the end of March here, and we'll be creating and revisiting your original ink blot and Rorschach for April. So thank you. Come on in, have a seat. We're here for Aries. If you want to take a deep breath, Arians, release the race and the rush. Activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support. Pull some scrolls for you and a few supportive oracles for the Arian Collective. Thank you. Any messages along the way will add on more tarot and oracle as well the spirit box. One more. Thanks. A nice roundabout perspective. Okay. All right. Arians, I want to take a moment to arrange these like a vision board I can read. What do we got going on? All right, Aries, let's go. Thank you for being my muse. Thank you for holding space for me to share my insights and allowing me to be a guest in your aura. I felt like that was a slow opening, but I, I don't know. And maybe Arians, that's like your vibe right now. Maybe that's the Arian vibe. It's like, you know what? Getting close to like just feeling in flow. Maybe not even close. Maybe some of you already are. And that's what I'm I'm digging. I can feel it. Like you've got the fire here. You have the sun. Um, yeah. I'm feeling like <laughs> like stuff's just coming together. My I feel like my fire of my heart's aligned. I feel as though like my emotions are uh channeling okay that's not to say that the the pipe configuration of you know these emotional pipes of sorts you know aren't complicated or have their kinks this out of the other but but they're flowing and i feel very calm even my mind with mercury like they're feeling calm sorry we're coming in for um it's not weird eh like hiccups. Sorry, we're here for the Aryan Collective. And I'll, Spirits, I'll put you on in two seconds. Like that was a hiccup. And yet I'm in the Aryan energy. And I'm like, it's cool. It's cool. It's all good. <laughs> like, what is that? It reminds me of, um. oh, I can hear him in my head. But is it like Matthew McConaughey from like Dazed and Confused? It's like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I don't know. And then there's another guy too. I think it's from Mall Rats that I'm seeing. And he's just like, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Aries, I don't know what you got going on, but <laughs> I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm just letting things flow and move through. I, f I feel like I'm vibing high. I feel like I've just got this reverb vibe that is um, it's actually like coming out mercury my thoughts my communication is changing i've interrupted something and not in a like i interrupt you or, or i'm being interrupted but even if i am being interrupted by an outsider or an insider portion of of my archetypes i'm realizing there might be value in that interruption is it interrupting <clears throat> a cycle is it interrupting a, a habitual thought something invisible that's made visible right in that moment sun and i'm suddenly like ah fire burn or illuminate burn or illuminate cleanse or keep cleanse or keep <sighs> yeah and then i see kind of like um an old fashioned washing machine. It reminds me of the one like my grandma had in her basement. She had like by choice, she had like an old fashioned wash bin off to the side, I guess for like tougher stains, you know, typical if uh, grandpa's garage kind of stuff or, and then, but her washing machine also had this like the rinse. No, it's not rinse spin. She could actually like put close through this part of the washer up top. It was old school anyway to like wring them out. And I feel like it in this Scorpio, that's what you have. Like you have these different portions, something that's old school. Maybe it's an old wisdom, an ancient wisdom, an old teaching or something you're remembering because it's like something just pops up like candles in both left and right sides of the brain, intellect, intuition, you know, call it what you want. 
And this kindness comes flooding out with like this Pope-like angel. And I say Pope-like because it feels prominent to you. It feels, it feels prominent to you. But things are moving and shaking. Okay, we'll add on the spirit box. <laughs> Arian, sorry if I yammered on there. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to start over there. And we'll start adding on some Terra and Oracle. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for your awesome awareness and appreciation for like, sharing, and subscribing. Whoop. Donating, buy me a coffee, all that good stuff. You can also become a member for Secret Scribes and Seances. Think Flamingos. Arians. I'm hearing a song. Gotta be. Oh shoot! It's gotta be so complicated. I can't remember who it's by. Anyway. Yeah, that's like your, I caught you there. It's like your hidden Pope angel thing. Yep. Elderly. Silly. A little bit of play. A little bit of wisdom. I don't know if that's what I'm feeling here. Thank Amazing. you. I appreciate that. Because as I'm gazing upon this ink blot here, and of course, feel free to take a snapshot so you can scry on your own time and terms. I'm seeing everything in double vision. And I kind of had like a weird moment there, but that's okay. When I saw the flamingos. Scrying. What are those odd things I'm seeing? I'm seeing like hooded cupids. Hooded cupids. I don't know why they're hooded. But they kind of look like an Ewok. Are the Ewoks hooded? Not sure. Cupid or some sort of like Harry Potter, something along that lines, something along that lines. Okay, where was I? Double vision. This is your wisdom at work, but it's really play. This is your wisdom at play. Arians. Wickedly wise. But it's wonderful. There's some sort of creative thoughts that are coming through. It's right in about the ear space. And if I may, it travels out to your aura to about, not arm's length, but football goalposts or Barbie doll arm. That's, that's where I feel like your uh, creative hearing is, somewhere in and around there. Fly. And you might be able to like, I hear this much. And then I hear this much. Like, this is what people may say. This is what I say to myself. But then I actually hear out here. Uh, memory came through. As long, uh, along with insight and dom or insight night. Okay, so obviously I read it as insight. Night and dominance. Some of you Arians might be, um, yeah, dominating your, your dreams. And I mean like lucid dreaming, like taking a hold and starting to, to step into, it's almost like I, in this double vision of being in a dream state while I'm awake and while I'm awake in a dream state kind of thing. And you can see the bleed through sometimes. And it like jogs these memories. It's like, oh yeah, that's right. I'm here. It's like the spirit talking to your soul while it's currently a self. Going, remember, we're here to play. You Die. you can change and create things. And it's like, you can remember, I'm seeing this as a poppy down here. I don't actually know what it is, but I'm seeing it as a poppy. It's all happening at nighttime or in your intuitive space. And I want to put that night, like with these candles, as I'm seeing them as candles, like right there with the moon. Also, if there's something you're not sure of, it's, it's, it's almost like I can see you putting things under your, under your pillow or, or saying something very repetitive. 
before you fall asleep. Uh, mischief also came through. Uh, you have a cat in spirit that is sending messages. And sometimes it may seem like it's causing mischief around the house or if things are acting odd or silly. Again, there's that play. I feel like I miss. I'm going to separate these two. Yeah. It's, it is. A, and I, that's cool. It's play. The, they too are being wise. There's a cat and spirit playing. They're almost no. amazed that you can still uh, talk I'm to them lost. as though they can see you. Because they're not lost. But it's like they're surprised. It's like, yeah, you're, you're heeding their messages. Okay. Getting ready to start closing out for Aryan Collective. The offering is coming through. Time. Thank you. That's going over there. You're being given time. Thank you. That's exactly the word I was looking for. Time after time. There's a bridge. The bridge and the blacksmith. The vision. Okay. Thank you. The eternal child. This is that play, Arians. I will, okay, I will show these to you so you can always, of course, Tombstone. please come to your own conclusion. In danger. The vision and the eternal child. The bridge and the offering. I don't know. You guys having your own conversation over there, eh? It's all good. Okay, so the offering brings me into like time. I was like seeing the candle wax starting to like a candle being burned in the wax dripping. Case. It's like, okay, I know this candle burns for say 33 hours Water. and so much of the candle is being burnt. It's not a matter of being burnt at both ends. Like that's not the metaphor I'm hearing. It's, I know exactly how much time has passed by this one candle. Maybe it's an investment you've been doing over time, little by little, um, step by step. Yeah. Okay, so, but the offering, as I saw it come in, like it landed, it's seeing all this purple here. Oh, I got to go the other way. There we go. That's how I saw it connect. So like the whole, and there's your dream state up there. This offering of time. The bridge to the dream world. I don't know if anyone's really into, no, you don't even have to be really into or inquisitive about dream symbols. Oh, I just saw someone like going, mm, I love it, I love it. Something about the night, card number 33. Yeah, you might be really adept at uh, astral traveling, uh, dream dimensions, dream symbology, and seeing the, seeing the bleed through. Thank you, because the vision is there. Something's being all cleared up by what you've been doing, like the sun, the eternal child. You're seeing the value of play. It's uncoiling something. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, so remember how I said like, oh, I just saw someone like going that you might have a spirit, like somebody Ew. who's just like, oh, they just love what you're doing. And I feel like they interact with you in the dream state. That's why they're like even more personal because they're like, oh, we made all the time. Could be the cat, could be another uh, female energy. But when I saw like the squinting of the face here, like the, oh, and then the owls on, on the vision, I don't know if they'll come through anyway, but it was like the same thing. Pray. There's some sort of hand mudra, some sort of hand mudra it could be really beneficial to you, Arians. I'd like to come into this reverb of mercury because there's a change in thoughts and i think that's your bridge Nathan. something bridged and the blacksmith like <sighs> the blacksmith in you did everything or, or is doing things is doing things the dirty work Sinner. the human work <laughs> the the grit and the graph and not to give it a bad name because it's a beautiful tangible textured experience but it's been building this bridge 
for more sound like Hello. for the hearing for the hearing uh, the mother also came Touch. through Agreed. pearl of wisdom in there Find me. and there's also some sort of rope I don't know what the rope means I know what it means to me in some cases shapes or form but I feel like that doesn't apply here I don't know what the rope means uh, venom and ath athlea could be balance balance and boundaries you honestly had a card <laughs> hold on one moment oh my okay aries and hulk or fuffle <laughs> we are back and i got your card that decided to travel the length of of the room the sword day and night the bridge that's what that brings me into I also feel like some Aryans could be moving, male or female, moving through uh, mother maiden crone energy a little more fluently. You may also have right. a mother around you. <clears throat> it's almost like you can, you resonate. Again, it's, it's bringing me into the Althea, but I always see it as like an athletica, like it's a, a dumbbell of balance Cable. connected but don't always see things the same way Guarded. and that's okay boundaries all right so we're getting ready to close out here for aries i honestly can't believe that that happened if there's anything else stepping forward okay Okay, close. Something's closed. A book is closed. Uh, chapter, novel, notebook. There's no cards on either sides available. So we had here resilience that came through with boundaries that was behind it. So I feel like there is this uh, ongoing wisdom that obviously Arians have to ensure your boundaries are uh, beautiful, especially of that inner child, the eternal child. You're never too old to ponder the possibilities. Always have that vision intact. Even as a wise old adult, um, in, you know, in a very strict career or something like that, I'm hearing, yeah, but it's, it's the ideas that inspire new Asia. new things for the adult to run with and make manifest right so and then we also had focus and change yeah there's change happening Believe. there's change there's a whole era that's ending Danger. and an era that's beginning there's no reason to be afraid unless you're entering into a mirrored version. And even then you don't need to be afraid because you'll be well aware that you're entering another era that's a mirror of that. But to be honest with you, Arians, I don't feel like that's the case. I feel as though it's done. Forty-seven. Something got the boot and it got the boot with love. And in a good way, it's like closing the boot or closing the book and giving it the boot and, and then giving the book away type thing and saying, thank you. That was amazing. Thank you. Just be, I, I do want to just be uh, blatant in the message coming through to be resilient about your boundaries so that uh, other people don't give you their, for some reason I'm seeing is like lawn care. Like if somebody else does all their weeding or has all these gardens, but you got to, you don't got to, but uh, they keep asking you, can you come over and do this? Can you come over and do this and like maintain their choices for them? Of course, always being reflective of oneself home first that we're not doing that to others. But Arian's just side note there, you know, they can do their work. They've made their choices. They can also do the work. And if they don't want to do the work, they can remove the choice. Then make a new choice and to remove Be that quiet. thing. Okay. I know. It's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. I get it. The tower came through. This is in that change. Libra. So 
it's all it's about balancing yeah libra energy and the boundaries and the balance significant transformations six of wands five of wands in the reverse uh sumerians stop com competing chariot moving on last but not least do we have anything else for the Aryan collective thank you thank you on the bottom you have the four of pentacles love what you got gratitude so the five of wands came in the reverse with the six of wands so you've gone through five of wands reversed it and you're on to the six. And that kind of brings me into that whole closer. Um like mirror mirroring, like closing the book, you know, giving it the boot type thing. I don't I really don't get the feeling, Arians, that you're starting another era that's gonna be reflective, but just with different Die. characters, because even the deck had no card exposed. It's closed, it's done, it's I'm a done coming. deal. And the five of wands in reverse to the six of wands like yeah you're being ta-da <laughs> you did it it's going to start new adventures it may <coughs> begin new things but you've you're you're doing it you you want that you want the change you do and i can't deny arians there's Friend. absolutely something happening in in the dream state Holy. Whether it, whether it is your actual awake dreams or your actual astral state dreams, I don't know what's going on. Nope, this deck is done as well. Look at that. Third. You legitimately might have closed a few chapters. Tower, you made the change. This tower wasn't on to you. You might have gone through tower, tower tings, but that's not yours anymore. You've transmuted them. All right, Arians, thank you so much. Uh, sorry for, about the blip and the hiccup. I'll do my best to edit them together. Links below to donate, like, share, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. And until we come back in April to see your original ink blot, I'll see you then. Thanks.